Hey there for Dragonfly and me friends. Well, today is a day I have been super excited uh, for it to come. Um, if this is your first time here visiting, this my name is Jean Roman. This is my YouTube channel and you might be seeing me on my blog right now at fordragonfliesandme.com. So generally I am teaching gardening classes on everything with a specialty on raised bed gardening as well as heirloom variety seed saving but i can teach pretty much and i can talk on just about anything gardening and cooking so i wrote a cookbook and i'm working on my second cookbook but today i am focusing on how to plant ginger and if you were at the Home and Garden Expo put on by the Dearborn Board of Realtors this past Sunday, March 12th. Um, you got to see me present this class and teach it. But as I told everybody there, I was going to be doing the actual demonstration and putting that on both my blog and my YouTube channel. So that's what I'm doing today. But um, I'm super excited because Dave and I went grocery shopping for a couple things because I'm going to be doing a creamy chicken pesto soup tomorrow. So I needed a few ingredients for that. And I was literally looking for these plants at Kroger's of all places uh, for that class on Sunday and they didn't have them. They said, oh, we'll be getting them in closer to spring. Well, today, of course, you know, a day late and a dollar short, right? Here they are. But I don't care. I'm still so excited. If you were watching me on my uh, Facebook or Instagram, you also probably remember me buying these three beautiful um, ceramic pots. And I said I was going to be using those for my herbs. And la, here we go. So I have my thyme, which is again is a perennial. This is some cilantro and basil. But I am going to do something this year that I've never done before. And I admit, you know, I love talking to other gardeners because, you know, there's such a wealth of knowledge out there. And I saw on Instagram this uh, farmer take these plants that she bought from Kroger's or another store in these bags like these. And uh, so these are bare root, but these ones actually come in a little pot uh, if they're totally organic and they came in this little pot so I'm just gonna give it an easy peasy transplant them but what they said to do is to kind of trim these back divide them up and then root them in water so I'm gonna be doing that later and I'm gonna be doing like a day one day two kind of what I've been doing with my microgreens check these out aren't they looking so pretty I think we're on day like 15 now so I'm gonna be starting to harvest them and I'm also gonna be doing a uh probably a real, maybe a little blog on the microgreens, but this, the basil is what I'm super excited about. So keep posted for that. Um, before I go any further though, if you are enjoying this episode and if you've watched other ones, but you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button, smash that like button so that YouTube will put my videos into like a higher algorithm, the SEOs, um, but I would appreciate it. Definitely leave me a comment. If you uh, have a trick or a tip that you want to share, I love your feedback. And also if you've ever grown your own ginger, I'd love to hear how it went for you. So I'm going to push these over to the side carefully. And now I'm going to get into today's topic. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to plant ginger. So as I explained, in the class i did just simply buy some store-bought ginger they do have some nodes on them which is what we need to uh, get them to root and to grow but i honestly don't recommend doing that unless it's organic because and just like potatoes when you buy regular potatoes in the stores um they have been sprayed with an anti sprouting agent not organic and so that's why when you buy potatoes they last so long they don't sprout but if you buy organic potatoes you know that well if you don't use them within a reasonable amount of time they're going to shoot little eyes or sprouts but don't just be dismayed when you're doing that if you get those because if it's close enough to spring you can actually use your organic ones to plant in your garden so i'm going to be doing a blog coming up on how to uh, save your own potato seeds i've got so many more incredible gardening blogs coming up uh, my gardening 101 series i could it could never end but we're going to keep going but so what I am going to plant my ginger in is one of these large 
plastic containers that we bought our organic spring mix in. So these make a great option for seed starting because if you're starting seeds, you can simply put some holes in, which I'm gonna show you how to do, and put a, like an inch or two of soil and put your seeds down and then use the lid actually as a greenhouse, poking a few holes in just to let that air uh, and humidity get out a little bit, acting as a true greenhouse. But we're going to use it as a seed bed and this, the lid is actually gonna be our water tray. So what we wanna do first is we're gonna take those stickers off. They generally come off pretty easy. I started working on these before I started the video so it wouldn't take me quite as long. But, so planting our ginger. Uh, first and foremost, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a razor knife because a knife or scissors really you're gonna smash it, it's not, the plastic's too flimsy to poke through, right? So a, a, a razor knife or an X-Zacto knife works a little bit better. So I'm gonna simply put in, poke that through, put a few holes, three across each, the left side and the right side, I've already done uh, those. And so you can even see, even with that, this still comes out. But easy enough, I can put those up. So I have a total of nine drainage holes at the bottom and that is going to sit in here so you're not going to want to like drench it but this is just deep enough to where if any water goes through it's not going to be on your counter or whatever so unfortunately i no longer have greenhouses and here i am starting everything in the kitchen um i'm also excited because shortly after this video i'm going to be doing my uh seeds for my tomatoes uh, peppers and eggplant and so I'm gonna be creating another video for that super excited it's like finally gardening time friends here in Michigan we have to wait unless of course we are fortunate enough to have uh, a greenhouse like I used to that I could play in year-round so I have some organic Jiffy um, no affiliate marketing here um, I, this is just what I prefer to use I don't necessarily prefer Jiffy. It was just the organic potting mix, uh, seed starting uh, mixture that they had. So I grabbed this. So this is Jiffy uh, natural organic seed starting mix. And I'm going to put this about three inches of it into the bottom of this handy dandy plastic salad container turned planter. So carefully getting those. And this, th this uh, container is probably about, I don't know, a good five inches at least. So there we go. And this is a nice loamy soil. So going to level it out. So now the next thing we're going to do is I am going to take my ginger and the key to planting it with success is to make sure that it has three nodes. And if you look right there, and in my blog, I have a nice up close picture. I'm gonna direct you over to my blog for this. You can get this step-by-step -step instruction tutorial at my blog. So if you're watching this video at my blog, you can just scroll down and see it. If you found this video on YouTube, then the link to the blog is gonna be in the description below. So be sure to check that out um, for pictures and whatnot. So we're gonna wanna cut the ginger into about three inch like sections, making sure that there's at least three nodes on it. So right here, I do have one here, here and here on this one. So I'm going to cut that right there. And then taking that section, I'm going to gently place it into the soil. So you can see it right like that, okay? And then I already had another one cut and that also had three nodes, so right there, right there. This one actually has one, two, three, four, five, but that's okay. And I'm gonna plant this one right in the center, just kind of settling it down. And then this one right here, again, we have one, two, three nodes. So here's my third section. And they're all about three inches. So again, setting them nicely, pushing them in a little bit to about where they're halfway covered. So. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this, these little baby gingers with about another inch of soil. So putting that in there and then I'm gonna gently spread it like that. 
And I'm not going to tamp it down. A lot of times when you plant seeds, you want to tamp it down so that those seeds don't get blown away or washed away uh, from a rain or whatnot. But this is, these are not going anywhere. So there we go. Kind of settle it down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of water and I'm going to water them. And I do have it setting in this little water tray. Now, this is only step one. This is how to plant your ginger. Once this starts to sprout, which I will take photographs of like, you know, day, not day by day, but once it starts sprouting, I'll be taking photographs and videos of, you know, how it's progressing and whatnot and keeping you up to date on both Facebook and Instagram. So if you're not following me on my social media platforms, be sure to go on over there. Everything is for dragonflies and me and uh, follow me there. I do great and I do way different stuff on each of those platforms. I have incredible uh, recipe reels and gardening reels that are only on my Instagram page, beautiful photography and lots of fun stuff. And um, you also get some previews of recipes that are gonna be coming out on Instagram. On Facebook, you'll get updates on every blog that I post, YouTube, podcasts and whatnot. So I have a lot of different platforms that I can share different content with you. My YouTube here is basically on gardening and cooking. My podcast is based on entrepreneurship. So if you're out there and maybe are thinking about starting a farm or you want to start uh, selling your produce or be a flower farmer and you want to start doing that at maybe a farmer's market, well, go on over to my podcast. I interview entrepreneurs. I am going to be having some incredible on, uh, interviews with a person from from the Small Business Administration of Michigan, uh, the Great Lakes Women uh, Business Council, as well as several other organizations uh, for resources. That's gonna be coming up in August. Um, so there's lots of great content there. Be sure to visit me and subscribe so you don't miss a beat. But I'm gonna say goodbye for now and thank you for joining me here at my YouTube channel. I will be keeping you posted probably on both Facebook and Instagram on how this is coming. So I am going to do a video, but you want to keep posted on that. So like I always say, thanks for coming and be sure to eat fresh, shop local, and have a happy day. Thanks, Dragonfly friends.